Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's video comes from one of our viewer named Toasty Marshmallow 76. Thanks for the suggestion, Toasty. You asked, why does firewood crackle when it burns? Is it just trying to be dramatic? Yeah, firewood is dramatic. It's basically nature's popcorn. But there's actually a solid reason behind that signature snap, crackle, and pop. And spoiler alert, it involves steam, stress, and tiny explosions. So grab a mug of hot chocolate, try not to burn your eyebrows off, and let's get into it. Right here on Explaining Everything. At first glance, a log seems pretty chill. It's just sitting there, doing its best log impression. But inside, chaos. Even the driest looking piece of firewood contains some amount of moisture. Not just a little dew. Actual water trapped inside the wood's microscopic structure. This water is in the cells, the fibers, and even clinging to the walls of teeny tiny capillaries like it forgot to move out after the tree died. Now, when you toss that wood into a fire, the temperature doesn't just rise politely. No, it skyrockets. And suddenly, that trapped water has a choice. Either stay where it is and boil in place like a stubborn spaghetti pot, or escape in the most dramatic way possible. As the fire heats the wood, the moisture inside starts to boil. That creates steam, which expands rapidly. And I do mean rapidly. Steam takes up over 1,600 times the volume of the original water. Imagine renting a tiny studio apartment and then 1,600 of your closest friends show up uninvited. Well, the log has no idea how to handle that kind of expansion. The steam builds pressure inside the wood structure until, pop, it escapes, either by bursting through the wood cell walls or escaping through tiny cracks and pores. That, my friend, is the crackling sound. Every time you hear a snap or a pop, that steam breaking through wood at full force like it just got kicked out of a club. The crackling is a microscopic version of what happens when you leave popcorn in the microwave for just a bit too long. The difference is that firewood doesn't politely stop when it's done. It keeps going because the whole combustion process is messy, beautiful chaos. And it's not just steam bursting out either. As the fire heats the wood, other chemical reactions start happening. Cellulose and hemicellulose, the fancy words for wood stuff, start to decompose. This releases gases like carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, methane, and a whole cocktail of volatile organic compounds. When those gases ignite, more pops, more cracks, more sizzle. Your cozy night by the fire is really a slow motion explosion party. Tiny twigs and dry kindling are like that one friend who starts drama the second they walk into the party. They're thin, they heat up fast, and they let out their steam early and often. Snap, crackle, pop. Larger logs are more reserved. They take their time. They're like, I'll explode when I'm good and ready. Thank you. So they might smolder for a while, then suddenly let loose with a sharp crack that makes everyone at the campfire jump and pretend they weren't scared. Also, if the wood is really wet, even more drama. Wet logs create more steam, which means louder and more frequent pops, and a fire that's way less efficient. So if your fire sounds like it's trying to beatbox, congratulations, you're burning wet wood. 
if you're burning softwoods like pine fir or cedar, first of all, your fire probably smells amazing. But second, you're adding another layer of combustive chaos to the mix. These woods are full of resins and saps that burn like jet fuel. When heated, resins don't just evaporate quietly. Nope, they vaporize into flammable gases that can ignite with an enthusiastic BAM. If you've ever tossed a pine log into the fire and then watched it sound like it declared war on your marshmallows, that's why. Is crackling good or bad? That depends on your goals. If you want a roaring warm fire that sounds like nature's white noise machine, crackling is great. It's the sound of your fire doing what fires do, converting chemical energy into heat, light, and chaos. But if your fire is trying to cook something and it keeps sounding like it's tap dancing, that might mean the wood isn't properly seasoned. Seasoned wood, aka wood that's had time to dry out for at least 6 to 12 months, crackles less, burns hotter, and produces less smoke. To wrap it up, the crackling sound in firewood comes from steam and gases violently escaping the wood as it burns. Moisture turns to steam, pressure builds up, and the wood pops like a very confused bag of Jiffy Pop. Throw in a few resin-filled logs, some chemical breakdown, and a splash of pyrodrama, and you've got yourself an audio experience that's basically a live concert for cavemen. So next time you're sitting by the fire, toasting marshmallows, or just staring into the flames like a deep thinker, remember, Every crackle you hear is a tiny burst of chaos, science, and sass. If you like this fiery deep dive, hit that like button like it owes you s'mores. And don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.